Hello Captains! Welcome back to the next episode. My name is Adam and this is P3D version 4.3. And today we are in the Bahama area, or the, uh, the midsection between uh, North America and South America, at the uh, Juliana, Princess Juliana Airport, which is, I believe, uh, St. Martin area of the world where we will soon be installing fly tampers St. Martin and seeing the difference. Now, I don't know what that big dark cloud is in the background. That looks pretty scary. But um, what we're seeing here, apart from the payware air airplane, is pretty much default uh, stuff. So the airport that we're seeing, the textures on the runway, is from Rex uh, Airports. The textures that we're looking at now uh, and the trees are from Terraflora and Orbex, and then everything else is P3D. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get in our plane, we're going to fly around, we're going to see what it looks like, and then I'm going to install Fly Tampa's version of this airport of St. Martin. And they've got uh, different textures, different terrain, different airport, and we're going to see what the difference is. Um, now, I believe this airport is a special airport in the world because the beach from behind us is literally situated, uh, you know, at this airport. Um, I think there's a bit of an issue already with Orbix here because that building seems to be floating in the air, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, the beach literally is at the end of the runway. So when planes come in, oh, lovely cruise ship over there. Look at that. Oh. That looks like a of the seas type of uh, plane, doesn't it, guys? Um, when a plane comes into land, it literally brushes the beach, and people uh, have been able to stand on that beach and uh, have a look at all the craft coming in. Let's have a look at that uh, ship again. <sighs> look at that! We're going to have to fly over that bad boy. Okay, so here we are. Uh, airport's literally already behind us because uh, it's a very small airport. I, don't, I mean, it accepts 747s landing. Um, I don't know if it does A380s, but it does all the A310s, the 737s, the A320, A321, and all that. Um, oh, hello, look at this. We've got like a little harbor over here. We're only going to have a quick flyabout. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in Fly Tampa. So. Here we've got some lovely, uh, some fishing uh, merchant vessels. There's a nice little hill here. The water is so inviting. Anybody fancy a swim? Get your cozies on, because we can jump in. Um, and there's that uh, boat over here, the Of The Seas. I wonder if it is an Of The Seas uh, cruise ship. And I wonder if it says anything about it see some land off to the distance. Now that land off to the distance is, I have no idea, is another island I'm guessing. Um, here we go, let's let's head down to this cruise ship here. Let's see what we can see. Uh, it does look like an of the seas, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah. It's got a heliport on the top, look at that. It's uh, kind of nicely modelled, to be honest. Uh, that's that's probably not going to be here now when we come back to this area, because that is a part of what Warbex is laying down. Gonna stall here. It's alright guys, I got this. I got this. I've stalled before in a plane. It's absolutely fine, we're okay. Um, Yeah, all this what we're seeing here won't be here when we return because uh, St. Martin probably be taking care of all this. I think it quite it renders the, the whole island that we're actually sat on. What we're going to do is we're going to fly around and we're going to actually land at the runway that, um, that just over there. So you'll actually see what it's like to see on that beach. And then we'll do the same again when I install Fly Tampa. So... 
the mesh down here, I mean, we're only at 300 feet, guys. But the mesh down here is is okay. You know, at higher altitudes, that would look very nice indeed. A uh, lot, of, lot of buildings there. Nice little lake here. Um... Some more stuff over here. I mean, it's quite it's quite nicely modelled this area. Um, whoever's done this, oh gosh, look at that cloud. Oh dear, whoever's done this has really paid nice attention to detail. So um, yeah, it's going to be a short, sharp turn here. So the sky and the, uh, the the sort of clouds and all the atmosphere and everything in the sky is active sky for P3D version 4 and Skyforce 3D. I also have Invectix sky colors uh, just added in. I don't have Invectix itself. I have just the sky colors to replace the default ones that come with uh, some of the uh, active sky ones, I believe. Okay, a bit high here. Let's uh, flap it and let's get it down. So as you can see there, that beach isn't exactly the one I thought it was, actually. I'm sure there were roads there. Am I at the right airport? I don't know. Let's uh, let's get down. Maybe it's not detailed, uh, as detailed as the Fly Tampa one. So let's uh, let's land this sucker now. Last uh, stage of flaps. We can do this. And just gently... I wasn't ready to land then, was it? Here we go. There we go, and that's how she wrote it. So uh, we're going to come back here now. Um, if if we're in you know the right part of the world here, uh, once I've installed um, Saint Martin, and we're going to see what it looks like. It could even be the other uh, S A B A, you know, um, the one that I'm thinking of with the beach. So anyway. I'm going to install Zip Fly Tampa and we'll see what it looks like when we come back. See you in a bit. Hello, welcome back to the second half of the video. What a difference 30 minutes makes. I was only gone for 30 minutes, so I'm still using the live weather. And now it's peeing down with rain. I'm guessing that big cloud in the background was a big old rain cloud, so uh, everybody's getting wet. Um, and by the looks of it, there's some uh, people out here who uh, I can see in the background in their cozies who are getting absolutely drenched. So, here we are back in St. Martin with Fly Tampa City, the airport and scenery installed. So, already I can tell a massive difference. There are cars going past, there is traffic, there is flowers, there is palm trees, there's birds flying over. There's buildings, the texture on the runway looks fantastic. Um, the hillside terrain has changed, I'd probably say a little bit maybe for the worse, I don't know. I may have to just sort of disable the mesh um, that comes with it, because it won't be as good as the FS Global one, so I'll, I'll probably need to do that. It, I don't know, it kind of looks the same actually. I'm hoping that yacht, that big cruise liner, is still over there, to be honest. So let's take to the skies, and we're going to do the same flyover that we did um, before. Look at this runway though, it looks a lot different. These trees look a lot different. I don't think terraflora trees are getting involved anymore. It looks like uh, Fly Tampa has just completely replaced everything and I'll be very interested to see the buildings it's replaced as well at the same time. There was a little fishing community over here that we can sort of that we saw a little bit of. I wonder if it's still there. <gasps> the cruise liner is still there. Oh yes indeedy. We can see if it's similar type of cruise liner or if it's been replaced as well. So looking out here, um, I mean this straight away looks a lot different here. The buildings here, uh, the grass textures, everything look, just looks like it's had a big massive upgrade. Not only an upgrade, but when I was on the ground before, my frames were a little bit better. Um, texturing on that hillside kind of looks the same. I don't think that uh, Fly Tampa extend out as far as this area, because this little fishing community does kind of look very similar. 
So, let's do a quick turn towards that uh, cruise liner, and we shall see if it's the same one as well. Nice boats here. Water, uh, can't really tell because it's raining, but the water looks really nice before. Sparkling, just like good enough to jump in and have a swim about. Right, from a distance that boat does look the same. So let's uh, let's go have a, a gander at it. Uh, it does does very much look the same. I think it might be the same model, to be honest. Uh, if it is, to be honest, I mean the model it's from a distance very nice. But as you do this flyover that we're doing here, that's when it kind of goes hmm, not as nice as you'd think. So I think I might try and find a replacement for that. But it definitely looks like a nice cruise ship there. Uh, definitely worth a holiday on that thing, isn't it? Right, so let's head out over to that runway now, and then we can land this sucker. Um, scenery doesn't look too different. There's that building we want to aim for. Um, I don't know if the scene, if the fly Tampa people have extended their reach out to this land over here. The elevations look a little different, so maybe they have. But the buildings don't. The buildings look, I don't know, maybe a little bit different. Uh, where is that runway going? There it is. So we're going to land at that. We're going to get to see what the beach as well looks like because um, it wasn't very good looking beach in the last video or in the first part of this video it was a bit of a bare bones beach so let's uh, check out a bit high here now need to come down a bit saying so that I'm only 300 feet off the ground um, so the runway's uh, there it's gonna be another sharp turn ladies and gentlemen Okay, uh, I think, yeah, I think they have extended their reach because some of the elevations here have changed. The buildings seem to be sunken into the ground. I think there might have been some natural disaster recently. Um, so, even though we've got this stormy weather, we are going to try and land this sucker on a, on a very short turn. Um, I don't know how short because I think I might have already... Oh, no. Not actually, it wasn't short at all. I, I kind of I went too soon a bit. Right, I want to I see that beach. The beach before literally uh, had what, like, oh gosh man, we are skimming the water here. Ah! Oh, no, this is not where you want to stall. Right, okay. Uh, bugger. Right, okay. We'll get it back, don't worry. We'll get it back. I want to see that beach. Right, see, now that's much better. That beach before literally just had, like, a picnic table and, like, a blotch of sand. Um, much better looking now. Right, let's try and land this puppy in. Right. Not exactly how you do a landing in any type of plane, this. Um, maybe in the movies. Right. Okay. So, yeah, definitely changed a lot. Oof. There we go. That'll knock your false teeth out. So, definitely changed a lot um, since, you know, the Fly Tampa Airport installed. I wonder if the uh, the runway gets uh, wet textured. Um, there goes the hydraulics on the plane again. Well, thanks for watching this one. Uh, the next one I'll be doing is Amsterdam, and I know that there's been some issues with Amsterdam Fly Tampa and True Earth Netherlands, and uh, I'll show you how to resolve them issues as well in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and keep flying, and I'll see you later.